Ready for a different kind of distance? In South Dakota's open spaces, there's room to ride, stop, and explore. When you're ready to travel, great places are waiting. Learn more at TravelSouthDakota.com. A new moment of Mary from Starbucks. Icy weather that brings us together. An Irish cream cold brew to get you through. Staying warm with scarves and a hat. And a cold drink in hand to stay cool like that. At Starbucks, Festive is a tap away. Download the app today. Welcome to the Cinema Gold Podcast with your host, Larry Lease. Come join us as Cinema Gold dives into the latest Hollywood films and news. haven't heard about anchor it's the easiest way to make a podcast and it's completely free there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer anchor will distribute podcasts for you so it can be heard on spotify apple podcast google podcast itunes and all the other places you can get podcasts you can even make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership it's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. I use it. My friends at Movie Lovers Unite use it. And it simplifies the process from start to finish. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome to the second episode of Cinema Gold Podcast. I'm your host, Larry Lease. Today we're Discussing a theory that Black Widow's main villain, Taskmaster, may be the creation of Iron Man himself. The identity of Black Widow's villain, Taskmaster, continues to be a mystery, but a new theory suggests he could be the creation of Tony Stark. Before moving on to the introduction of new characters like the Eternals and Shang-Chi, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we'll take Viewers a few years back with Black Widow set between the events of Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. Black Widow will follow Natasha Romanoff while on the run after the conflict and Civil War. Natasha will travel to Russia. She will be forced to confront a dangerous conspiracy with ties to her past. Meanwhile, she will reunite with her Russian family. She will also come across with a very special villain, Taskmaster, who has the ability to mimic the physical movements of anyone he observes. The trailers that have been released so far have shown him fighting like Captain America, Black Panther, Iron Man, and even Natasha herself. But who is he and where he comes from remains unknown. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, the release date for Black Widow has been delayed a few times, so the mystery of Taskmaster's identity and story has only grown, making way for all types of theories. One big theory that we're discussing now is that Tony Stark could have accidentally created the villain based on details from previous films. So here here it goes and here's how Iron Man could be responsible for the creation of Taskmaster. Iron Man himself has literally created a lot of MCU villains. He was the leader of the MCU until Avengers Endgame, where, spoiler, he died to save the world. However, if you go back to his first solo movie, where he met Obadiah Stane, a.k.a. Iron Monger, Stane was a close friend of Tony's parents and took over Stark Industries after their death. Once Tony turned 18... He took control of the company and took Stane's spot. Though he stayed and was his right hand for years, Stane grew resentful of Tony's 
It was then followed to Tony and plotted it, his kidnap and assassination with the help of the Ten Rings. While being held captive, Tony built the first Iron Man armor, which Zane later retrieved. Along with the arc reactor, Stane built his own suit and was ready to fight Iron Man. Iron Man 2 also had a villain inadvertently created by the Starks. Anton Venko, aka Whiplash, was the, was the son of Ivan Venko, who worked with Howard Stark on the development of the original arc reactor, but never got proper credit for it. After Ivan's death and Tony's rise as Iron Man, Anton built his own arc reactor, which made it easier for him to fight Iron Man. Iron Man 3 followed the pattern with the introduction of Aldrich Killian, founder and owner of the Science and Development Organization, Advanced Idea Mechanics. Killian and Tony met on New Year's Eve, 1999, and Tony promised to meet him on the roof to discuss his plans. Tony never showed up, something that Killian never forgave nor forgot. Years later, Killian returned with an even bigger and more dangerous plan now involving the extremist formula, which made him more powerful. One of Tony's most ambitious projects ended up being his most dangerous one, Ultron. In Avengers Age of Ultron, Tony and Bruce Banner came up with the Ultron project with the purpose of protecting Earth from various threats. Tony saw a chance on the Mind Stone to finally set the project into motion, which he did, but it went horribly wrong. Ultron realized that the real threat were humans, and thus planned to destroy Earth. Tony was later responsible for the emergence of two other villains, though the one who had to deal with them was Peter Parker. first one was Adrian Toomes, aka the Vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. Following the battle in New York, Toomes and his company were ready to clean up New York, but Tony founded Damage Control and they took over the task, thus leaving Toomes and his company out of business. And most recently was Quentin Beck slash Mysterio, a former Stark Industries employee posing as a hero from another universe. Beck worked on holographic technologies at Stark Industries and was fired after complaining about the name Tony put to the technology he developed. He later used that technology to make the world believe he was protecting the planet from the elementals and his final trick was framing Peter and exposing his identity. The aforementioned villains were created either as a result of Tony's attitude and decisions or the technology he developed during his time in the MCU. Taskmaster would fall into the latter category, and the details hinting at that can be found in Civil War. During the battle between Iron Man, Captain America, and the Winter Soldier near the end of the film, Iron Man had fr Friday analyzing every move from Captain America as they happened, allowing Tony to predict his moves and use the suit's tech to fight back. Taskmaster's mask has a small camera in the middle which could be recording the fights and analyzing them from every possible angle so he can recreate and predict every move. And as the fight in Civil War took place in Siberia, as, do, as does some parts of Black Widow, Taskmaster could have retrieved pieces of Iron Man's helmet, which he then used for his own not so honest purposes. As to why Tony Stark would have added such a feature to his su suit, it's important to keep in mind that one of Tony's main goals was to create new forms of defense and protocols to protect the world from all types of threats, aliens, humans, or something else. Ultron, as mentioned above, didn't go so well, so Tony would have looked for other ways to keep the world safe without putting it at risk at the same time. This technology would have helped him match whatever threat he could encounter more so if he could keep a copy of the moves of his fellow Avengers and other heroes like Black Panther and so on and so forth, which in turn would have helped him keep his superhero colleagues safe. However, and as MCU history has already shown, Tony's plans and tech are not perfect, and if they fall into the wrong hands, their purpose would then be the complete opposite of what he wanted. Black Widow might have a connection with Iron Man 3's villain, which would also link to the Stark tech used by Taskmaster. An old... Marvel fan pointed out that in the trailer in the scene where Yelena is captured, possibly at the final battle, there's an acronym written on the wall, AIM, Advanced Idea Mechanics, Aldrich Killian's company. Taskmaster could be working for AIM, and even though Killian is presumed dead, whoever is in charge could still be seeking revenge against Tony and or the Avengers, depending on how the events between Iron Man 3 
in Black Widow affected them, like Vulture and Mysterio's cases, for example. Aang would then be using Tony Stark's tech against him in Avengers through Taskmaster, though another possibility is that AIM recreated the technology found in those pieces of Iron Man's helmet after the fight in Civil War and are now using it on Taskmaster to fulfill whatever revenge plan they have. And as part of Black Widow, Robert Downey Jr. is rumored to have a cameo, which could be the basis for Taskmaster's origins. Although Black Widow will be all about Natasha and what she did between Civil War and Infinity War, Robert Downey Jr. has been heavily rumored to cameo in it, and Taskmaster using Stark Tech would give him a good reason to show up. Black Widow will surely explain Taskmaster's origin at some point, at some point with Tony Stark appearing in a flashback scene. Marvel could even use archive or deleted footage to make it happen. Many fans aren't completely on board with the possibility of Tony Stark showing up in Black Widow, as this is supposed to be a story focused on Natasha. However, appearing in a flashback scene could explain the origins of the film's villain, which would be a good way to have him back briefly and without taking the spotlight away from Natasha's story. Tony's tendency of unintentionally creating villains could be used one final time in the MCU without him being directly involved in defeating said threat, just like both of the recent Spider-Man films. Although there's strong evidence that supports this theory, the MCU's obviously full of surprises, and the twist in Black Widow could be different than ta Taskmaster using Stark technology, either from the man himself or a recreation made by an old enemy. Give me your comments, what you think about this possibility. Um, Black Widow is scheduled to drop November 6th. Are you planning to see it despite the current pandemic? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Larry M. Lease at L A R R Y M L E A S E. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this podcast, give us a review. Share with your friends and join us for our next episode. Thank you and have a great day. Thanks for watching Cinema Gold Podcast. Follow us on Twitter at Cinema Gold 2. Become a patron on our Patreon at patreon.com slash cinema gold. Send us a voice message and be featured on an upcoming episode through anchor.fm slash cinema gold. Whether you have your own bathroom or you share one with your family, a little extra help keeping the bathroom sink, counter, and mirror clean goes a long way. And Viva paper towels are for the long haul. They're two times more durable when wet compared to the leading value brand. And they clean like cloth, helping you keep the surfaces in your bathroom dry and fingerprint and toothpaste free. For an exceptional bathroom clean, there's Viva paper towels. Visit vivatowels.com to learn more. Ready for a different kind of distance? In South Dakota's open spaces, there's room to ride, stop, and explore. When you're ready to travel, great places are waiting. Learn more at TravelSouthDakota.com.